Before I start this video, I want to let you know that there is some documentation on creating plugins in the Godot documentation. Go ahead and check that out because that covers some stuff I'm not going to cover here, and I actually cover some stuff that that doesn't cover there. With that out of the way, see you in the video. So the first thing you're going to want to do when creating a plugin is open up a new project, go ahead and go into project settings, and go into the plugin tab and click create. For this next part, go ahead and just fill out all these fields, they're all pretty self-explanatory but also don't be afraid to ask if you have any questions on what you should put in them. Then you're going to specify the path of the file that is going to get called to build the plugin. You could activate it now if you want to activate it right when you start it. I'm not going to check that. You could check that, but um, I'm going to just go ahead and leave that unactivated so I could activate it to test different stuff later in. Now right off the bat, you probably notice it created a folder and then another folder. This is going to be the plugin folder. All plugins go into the add-ons, and if you're adding a plugin to your folder through the GitHub instead of the asset library, you're going to want to go ahead and just drag the folder into the add-ons. And then um, that should add it into the plugin area. You just click enable to enable it. Enter tree is going to get called when you activate the plugin, and exec tree is going to get called when you deactivate the plugin. So if you're going to build a new menu, which I'm going to cover today, we're going to do that in enter tree, and then we're going to want to remove the menu in exit tree. Now before I go ahead and just add a new screen, I'm going to need to start building the screen, and I'm going to actually do this in the editor. So I'm going to go ahead and do add another node, and I'm going to do emerging container. This is going to be the base of the inventory screen. I'm then going to add different stuff to it to build up my inventory screen. For now, I'm just going to do a center container. Let's go ahead and do four rectangle. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a label. I'm then going to save it. I'm actually going to save it in the add-ons. So if I drag this into any other folder, I could use it. And then I'm going to go back into the plugin. And I'm going to build a reference to the inventory screen. And I'm just going to do inventory screen.tscn. I'm not going to do the direct path to it, just the relative path to it simply because if they end up putting this into their folder differently, which they shouldn't do because they're going to want to put it in this way so they could activate it here, but if they put it in their folder differently, we want it to work, so I'm going to do the relative path. Now when we enter the screen, I'm going to go ahead and create a new reference, and we need to make sure the reference is specified in the top level so that we could also exit and delete the inventory screen. I'm then going to get editor interface, get editor viewport, and then I'm going to add a child, and that's going to be this inventory screen. Upon exiting the tree, I'm then going to check if the inventory screen exists. If it does, I'm going to go ahead and just delete it. Now I'm going to go ahead and activate this and show you what it's going to look like at this point. It's not going to work yet because we don't quite have all the stuff we need, but if I enable this, it immediately comes up. This is inventory screen, and it didn't add a new one. It actually added a little section there, but it didn't add a new one and took up there. So we want to add a new screen. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. So we're going to add a couple functions here. Make visible. We're going to do if inventory screen. We're then going to add another function. Function has main screen return true. So it's letting it know, hey, we have a main screen. I'm going to go ahead and try that again. And it doesn't show up yet. So we need to add a couple more functions to let it know, hey, we are adding a new screen. And some of those will be the name we're going to show and the icon. So we're going to do function git plugin icon and git function name. We're going to return git editor interface. And I'm just going to do the basic node icon for now. Git base control dot git icon from the editor icons. And then we're going to go ahead and get the name function git plugin name and I'm going to return the plugin name which is going to be universal inventory okay with that in I'm going to go ahead and try that again settings enable but if I do this it shows there if I set it it's still showing but it did add a new screen it just doesn't go away yet so the next thing we're going to do visible faults and I'm going to project settings unable it enable it and we got a second one there so I'm actually going to restart the project because it had an issue exiting the tree and I just realized the issue, let's make visible. So I'm going to try that again, and a third one pops up, but the third one hides. So if I restart the project, you'll see. And with that, you can see it's properly hiding and showing. So these are all the functions you're going to need. 
Something that builds it when it enters the tree, something that removes it when it exits the tree, something that makes it show and hide, something that lets it know, hey, this is a main screen, returns the name and the icon. Now, once you have that built, you could start adding more stuff to it. So you could go ahead and just like add different screens, different menus. You could add anything to here and it'll show up in there. If you wanted, you could do a split, horizontal split. And let's say you wanted a tree navigation path on the left and the centered stuff on the right saying this is an inventory screen. So the tree navigation, let's go ahead and just increase its size a bit. So the min size, we're going to set to, let's do 100 for now, yeah, a little bit bigger. Now we have a tree on the left side and a little section on the right side. If you unenable this, we enable it, that will rebuild it. We go here, we have that. However, it's not taking up enough space, like the space it should be taking. So I'm going to have it go ahead and expand both, change it, there we go. Now it takes up the whole thing. Let's say we wanted to add a node. So this would be a section we build stuff in and then we want to add a node to be able to use the section, use the stuff we build in the game. I'm going to go ahead and show you that real quick. So what you're going to do is first off build the node. So if you wanted to also add a node, you could even just create a script for that node. And I'm going to call this the inventory node. And you could add it, have it extend whatever you want. You just need to make sure when you build the node that it extends what you're saying it extends. And you could export all the different stuff. You could do basically whatever in here. But for now, I'm just going to have that. And I'm just going to do a ready that tells it to print. So let's go ahead and try that. I'm going to go ahead and just go into the plugin. And when I'm creating the tree, I'm going to go ahead and create an inventory. And to do that, you're going to do add custom type. The name you want, which we're going to do inventory node. Well, actually, I'm not going to call it node. I'm just going to call it inventory because it's obviously a node. And then what it extends, it extends the base node. Make sure that this matches whatever is in here. And then you're just gonna preload, actually, let's load, let's load the inventory up here. Const inventory node, preload, preload. And then we're just gonna do inventory node, Go dot or GD script, and then you're just gonna do inventory node, and then you're gonna add a here. git editor interface dot git base control dot git icon, and we're just gonna use the same icon we used for the other one. So it's gonna be a node from the editor icons. And then we could change that later. We could add in custom images for this. I'm not going to show that in this tutorial though. Misspelt it. And then I'm just going to go ahead and make sure I delete the node on the exit tree. And it's just going to be very simple. Just move custom type. And that should be all you need. So I'm going to just go ahead and enable. And if I want to add an inventory, we have an inventory node. And it has the inventory size. We could select the size. Let's do 10. And if we run this, let's select the inventory screen. It's just going to say, I'm an inventory with 10 spaces. So you could add nodes, you could add screens, and now you should be able to build a custom plugin. If you guys want any more tutorials covering this, just let me know. I'll see what I could do. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one.